Hey guys, we are live from the Brojo. I'm Keanu Banyas. Max Cooley. And this is another episode of Fanime. Today we are going to be talking about the progression of Gohan from Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball Super. Woot. Alright, so let's get... Let's talk. Let's just start talking about Gohan himself. Gohan is the son of Son Goku. Gohan was supposed to be the badass after Dragon Ball. He was supposed to become the main character. And Ken and I personally enjoy Gohan enough that we would have watched that TV show. Right. 10 out of 10, guarantee there I would have watched we that. We will be getting into a lot of things that people don't like about Gohan. I was, we talk about his progression through the arcs. Oh, yeah. Um, obviously, if you look at the picture, all of his. Gohan is It's Gohan! One big picture for Gohan. It's Saiyan Man. <laughs> Saiyan! I fucking love Saiyan Man. We'll get into my love of Saiyan Man as we progress into this. So the first thing we want to talk about, I've combined the first four sagas into two brackets, like the Saiyan Saga and the Namek Saga yeah. are together, and the Android Saga and the Cell Saga are together, because they go... They, they mesh very well. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Saiyan and Namek Saga, and... What we learn from Gohan in here, Gohan is five to six. Approximately, yeah. Approximately in the sagas. And what you learn is the possible potential of that Gohan has during his fight with Raditz. Yeah. And, like, the anger, the, the buildup of, like, Gohan is this secretly badass character. Gohan's a like, fucking nuke. Raditz, <laughs> Goku is being murdered by Raditz, and he's like, Lee! Daddy, no! <laughs> Pops out of the ball, and then Ryan's like, This power level, it's so high! It's insane! What? And unfortunately, Goku dies, and that's where you start seeing his training with Piccolo. Piccolo just randomly fucking shows up at Chi Chi's house and is like, Yo, dude, taking your son. Gohan's mine Fuck now. Fuck you, okay, middle bye. finger flies off. They're like, What are you doing? No! Great. So, like, what, what you get from here is, like, his training with Piccolo. And at first, Piccolo is training Gohan to be his underling. Yeah. Like, he's like, what what better revenge than to make the son of my arch nemesis join me in my evil ways? He's like, what? Oh, I actually care for this kid. Fuck. <laughs> right. So, like, with this training, Piccolo puts him in extensive training. He oh, yeah. throws him at fucking boulders. He just drops him in a river. Like, he just <laughs> he fucks him with this kid. Man abandons him on an island. Yeah, he's like, I'll be back in a year. If you can't live through this, then fuck you. Kind of thing. Well, also with this, like, Go Gohan, when he was born, like, unlike the other Saiyans that are born, half Saiyans that are born afterwards, has a tail. Yeah, which is weird. I don't really know how much I like this. I mean, he ends up losing the tail and not having it. Which kind of makes right. everything better. Gohan loses his tail in these sagas, and then... And this is just in the Saiyan Saga. And then yep. in the Saiyan Saga, Gohan unleashes his full potential again with Vegeta. But before that, he he's still, you can tell, he's still young. Yeah. Doesn't have the fighter's instinct because he freezes the first sight of Nappa and Vegeta. Right. That And that's something Piccolo has noticed. If he's not in, like, enraged, Gohan kind of freezes. And he's right. done that a couple times. Right. And that's, that's the thing that kind of sucks. And it's just one of those things where, like, when you think about it, you kind of just, um, it's one of those, it's one of those, like, ah, uh, that's not cool. Yeah. Like, but I think it's, what my theory is, is that it's his human side that takes over, because he's not full He's Saiyan. not full Saiyan. Full Saiyans have the, the battle readiness. Yeah. His the... human side gives him the compassion, which gives him the emotion of fear. Yeah, because not many no, the Saiyans, Saiyans have a hard time with fear, fear, any kind of emotion to be honest with you. Yeah, anything that's not just straight up pissed off or yelling kakarot in the rain is kind of not emotion. Right, if it's not anger, you, you just like that's why. <laughs> but at the same time, that's why Goku Gohan's rage is so more daunting. Oh yeah, it's because like terrifying the human emotion amplifies the rage. Like Saiyans have rage, but they don't. They're really more emotionless. Than yeah, they're kind of yeah. Then it goes, once we go into the Namek Saga, you see the progression of Gohan is that he spent time training with Krillin and all these things, and his yeah. goal is to revive his master, Piccolo. Woo! And, uh, so throughout this, like, Gohu, Gohan gets his hidden potential unlocked by the weird-ass bat Namek. The 
King Namekian yeah. slash Sage Namekian, whatever right. he, he is. Right, unlocked and where he fights members of the Ginyu Force. Yeah. To the point where, like, another progression is that when Goku shows up, Captain Ginyu switches his body with Goku, and the emotional trauma that it puts on Gohan to have to fight his dad. To fight his own dad is just, it's nerve-wracking. Right. It, it fucks with him. I mean, these things are what makes Gohan Gohan. Right. And, like, the last thing about the Frieza saga is that Gohan fights Frieza in, like, Frieza's muscular form. Yep. And is able to stand on par for a while, but it's because of that weird berserker rage mm -hmm. that Gohan has. It's that anger that, like, human... Like, the human anger is different from Saiyan anger, but, like, I kind of see Gohan's anger rage as more of, like, a berserker state that we're seeing more from, like, um, fucking... Kale! Kale and Broly. Yeah. Like, except for theirs is solely Saiyan, his is, like, human-esque Right, as well. and, like, I was gonna bring that up later on to, like, where it, the influences that would come later on. Alright, sorry. Uh, the, no, yeah, you're fine, that no, just, because I... That was something I mean, kind of just no, popped No, that is understandable, and we'll, we'll bring that up later on after we do our yeah. full, like, progression of Gohan. Mm -hmm. Then, as Gohan progresses, we go to the Android and Cell Saga, and, like, Gohan is prevalent in both the future and the past. Without oh, yeah. future Gohan... Trunks would not have gone Super Saiyan. Exactly. And so, Gohan is prominent in that timeline because of the death of Gohan. Yeah. But Gohan now is, there's three years before the androids come, so they're mm -hmm. training profusely for <clears throat> the androids to show up. Yeah. And with that in mind, Goku and Gohan spend essentially a year in the hyperbolic time chamber uh -huh. learning to control Super Saiyan. Yeah. Because of the fact that Gohan is uh, so young, mm -hmm. um, sorry, they go to the hyperbolic time chamber because Cell is coming and there's the Cell games coming. That's my fault. Sorry. So yeah. Gohan doesn't know Super Saiyan during the Android Saga. No, he doesn't. Gohan is in the background not with Yamcha and all them. Yeah, he's not a foreground fighter, but he's still a, a pivotal right. character. Right, so when Cell becomes Perfect Cell, yeah. that's where Gohan progresses the most oh, in yeah. the Cell Saga. Y you see an unlock. Cell has to go to the hyper... That Goku may and Gohan go in the hyperbolic time chamber and learn to use Super Saiyan. Mm -hmm. Not just Super Saiyan, but the way Gohan learns Super Saiyan is Goku tells him to channel his anger. Mm -hmm. into his rage for Cell. And Gohan's like, I'm not mad at Cell, though. Like, I don't know who he is. So he's like, channel it with Frieza. And that's why Gohan goes Super Saiyan. Yep. The thing that ne you need to learn about Gohan and Goku's Super Saiyan after the hyperbolic time chamber is that unlike Vegeta and Trunks who trained to go Super Saiyan, to go Ascended Super Saiyan, where they're muscular but lose speed, yep. Goku and Gohan were able to manage to transform into Super Saiyan and keep that form in their normal form. Yeah. To control their energy. And yeah, they they gain more of a, a chakra or chi or energy control, and not relying so much on anger and rage. Right. And they gain more of a balance with it. Goku is Gohan is the main character at the end of the Cell Saga. Oh yeah. Because Go Goku sees the potential in Gohan. Yep. To fight Cell, but Goku is a terrible father. He gives so... Cell a fucking sensu bean before he fights Gohan. Gohan doesn't <sighs> want to fight, all right? No, this is he the doesn't. one thing I want to point out. Gohan does not go Gohan is not a fighter. No. Gohan like progressively has to be a fighter because of the situations he's, he's given. He's grown into being a fighter. Right. Because of the shit that is gone through. Yeah. Like he doesn't want to essentially be a fighter, which no. we'll get into as when, yeah. when we go into the deeper so like later sagas. But with this, I want to point out that Gohan is the first person to go Super Saiyan 2. Yep. Which is pure, which because of his pure rage, and the only reason he was going to be able to go to Super Saiyan 2 is because of the fact that Cell was kicking the shit out of everyone he loves with the Cell Juniors. But when Gohan goes Super Saiyan 2, he goes, he's just ascended way more than Goku would have had in his youth. 
Oh he just yeah. Beats the living hell out of all those Fucking guys. Shreds through people. And then still is able to fight Cell. Mm -hmm. Now the thing you want to point out with this is that the another reason Gohan was able to go Super Saiyan two is because <laughs> was because Goku sacrifices himself. And was that's how he's able to defeat Cell because he's like shooting the Kamehameha with one hand. He's like, "I can't do it, Dad." And Goku's like, "Do it! You can do it! Save the world!" And that's what happens. Yep. And so when the Boo Saga comes in, it's an eight-year time gap. Yeah. Gohan has not done training. Oh no. Whatsoever. Like Gohan yeah. has focused on his studies. On his studies. And, and this is where the the Boo Saga is where the Dragon Ball Z community is. Divided yeah. by Gohan, what you see as Gohan being a quote unquote badass at the end of South Saga, to him becoming the great Saiyan Man in the beginning of the Boo Saga. Right. Now, to point out what the great Saiyan Man is, Gohan becomes the great Saiyan Man because he be originally he's called the Gold Fighter. Yeah. Because he's stopping like a bank robbery and they're like, the Gold Fighter stopped him. So Gohan's like, I could be a superhero. Right. And he basically becomes a Sentai superhero yeah. with all the fucking hand motions and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, he just goes he's, weird. He's, oh, I, I love it. I love it, it but I it's love weird. I this great Saiyan man. Like, my thing about that is, like, it's, like, you're so divided with Saiyan man is because, like, you initially have Gohan being a badass, quote-unquote, but he's still strong enough to keep on his own when the Grand Ten Kaiichi Budokai tournament comes along. And you see that Gohan is still able to go Super Saiyan 2 when he sees Videl being beaten the shit out of by the main by the Majin antagonists. You see Gohan is still able to fight not as well as he was because he's he hasn't done training against all the other Majin characters. So what you essentially have is Gohan then going to the Kai world and learning to use the Z sword, which he ends up breaking and unleashing Elder Kai. So with that in mind, when you think about it like that, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a very, it's very understandable that Gohan is, you find out, Gohan is not a fighter, and when he unlocks ultimate or mystic mode, as everyone calls him, mm -hmm. um, he's able to be on par with Boo, but he gets too cocky and arrogant, and s just like his dad, has an opening, yeah. and that is why he's absorbed by Boo, which will bring it up later on in the Universal Survivor arc. Survival arc! Survivor, bring Survivor bring arc. arc! So, like, at the end of the Boo saga, Gohan is considered... The strongest person yeah. in the Dragon Ball universe still. The only reason why Goku and Vegeta were able to go par against Boo was because he was Gogeta. Yeah. So essentially, Gohan is the strongest person at the end of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yes. At the end of Dragon Ball Z, if you don't count, like, the quote-unquote... The, the, the seven fusions. Year, well, the seven-year time gap where Oob comes along. Okay, like yeah. Like, you don't count that in. Technically speaking, Gohan, because of his mystic form, because he didn't need Super Saiyan to achieve this form, mm -hmm. is that he is the strongest person in the, in the known universe. In the known universe at this time. Until you go to the Battle of the Gods! And then shit gets fucked up again. The only reason I want to point out during Battle of the Gods is that Gohan is is the first episode of Dragon Ball Super. Yep. Is that Gohan is marrying Videl, and you get the humanization of Gohan being the scholar. Yeah. So what you essentially get in the first Battle of the Gods arc, which you didn't get in the movie, is that Gohan has accepted becoming a family man. Mm -hmm. And is becoming a person who wants to work at a college. And again, you get the comments from everyone in the community about how you don't like that. But I think, like we talked about in the beginning... Gohan was never a fighter. Gohan wanted to become a scholar. Right. Gohan wanted a family. He wanted Goku to be... never wanted a family. No, Goku kind of got tricked into it Right, almost. Goku sees his family as comrades and not family. Yeah. Like, people he closely has. 
Gohan has that emotion and love towards Videl and Pan. Mm-hmm. And you see that love in, with for Pan in the episode where after Pan is born, they're Mr. Satan and fucking Gohan are doing martial arts, like playing with Pan. Right. And you see that Gohan really loves his daughter. Oh, yeah. And that's the character progression Gohan gets throughout Super most of the time, is that he he is now this loving family man. Yeah. And like, I know a lot of people hate that. And I guess to an extent, sure, you can be mad that Gohan chose a life that wasn't martial arts. But, I mean, the, the signs in the first Dragon Ball Z series are very prevalent that Gohan doesn't want to do this. Oh, very much He so. has to do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not a wanting, it's more of like, you have to do yeah, it. Yeah, he's required to do it. And so, with that in mind, like, that's the only thing with Battle of the Gods, because he was no match against Beerus, he got knocked out right away. Oh yeah. With all the other Z fighters. Which spills into Resurrection F, is mm-hmm. that like, Gohan is not, Gohan is strong enough to take on Frieza's forces, but because he hasn't trained gets obliterated by Frieza. Yeah, Frieza just fucks him up pretty quick. One punch and he's down. Yeah. Which sucks, but that that Retro is a wake-up call for Gohan. Yeah. He starts training in secret with Piccolo, and he asks Piccolo to train him. Mm-hmm. And which jumps in the future Trunks arc, and the only thing you really get with the future Trunks arc is in the beginning... Um, Mr. Satan is making the great Saiyaman movie, and Gohan becomes this, the, the actor, the Saiyaman actor stuntman, yep. which is irony because Gohan is really Saiyaman. Right. And so an alien possesses this, the, the fucking dickish dude who, who and he becomes this strong, powerful person that Gohan has to take out. And Gohan takes him out with, with ease because he has been training. Yeah. And you notice that he's been training because if you look very closely, his muscle definition is coming back. Oh, yeah. From when you look at him at Dragon Ball, the first part of Dragon Ball Super is the skinny, lanky nerd. He's becoming the more muscular, nerdy dude. Yep. That we all know and love. And the, the, Yeah, and the, then we start to see more. Right. But the major thing about this is that his love for Videl yeah. still kicks in because I think his name is Billy tries to blackmail Gohan, saying that he's having an affair with the main actress. And he's like, no, no, I'm not. I'm just trying to console her. And Videl's like, I believe my husband because I love him. Mm -hmm. And then you see the same thing with Pan. He loves Pan. Fucking the dude kidnaps Pan. He's like, nah, motherfucker, that's my family. Right. That's when Gohan gets mad. When when you fuck with anyone he cares for is when he gets mad. Yeah, see, Goku doesn't have that. And I think that's one of the better differences between... Gohan and Goku. Right, we'll, again, we'll go into that later. Sorry. I haven't written out, man. Alright. Oh, I can only see, like, three more Yeah, lines. right, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, and I know everyone's like, but you didn't do the Universe 6 arc. Gohan wasn't in the Universe 6 arc, so there no, was really he, no character not. progression in there. He didn't even go see them fight. So, then, we go to the na- the recent arc that mm-hmm. we're in right now, the Universal Survivor arc. Survival arc! God damn it, I do this a fucking time. Yeah, survival it's right. arc. Where Goku is in a pickle. He needs two other fighters to come with him yep. to the Zen exposition ex, exposition exhibition? Exhibition match. Yeah. yeah. Tia knows no words. Words are not strong. Where in the exhibition match he fights Lavender whose main ability is to use poison. Yeah. To poison. He blinds Gohan. But you realize that Gohan has been training and he's become such in tone with his key that he uses the the light energy of his key to notice all the movements and uh-huh. everything like that. He's able to like feel the movements. Like Gohan is still a strong fighter. Oh yeah. Granted, Universe 9 is the weakest universe. Gohan was still managed to technically he beat Lavender, but they were both knocked out. Yeah. So it was a draw. What you again get with the Universal Survival arc is that you also... He also has Piccolo to train him in the 48 hours that they have. Uh-huh. Where, this is where Piccolo fo- shows him, like... He's like, Gohan, 
you can't keep using the fact that you are going to win because of your family. You have to think that there's a possibility of losing. Oh yeah. And if you do it, if you if you think that you're gonna get these Zenkai boosts all the time because like you love your family, you're never going to reach your full potential. No. Like you have left yourself, you left yourself open with Majin Buu. You left yourself open in the Universal Survival, the match with Lavender, and you left yourself open with me right now. You can't, you have to realize that, like, a fight is a fight until you die, and that's the only way you have to think of a martial arts fight. Yeah. Like, if you think of the martial arts fight as just a tournament, you're not gonna win. Exactly. No matter what happens. And Gohan takes that to heart until he fucking slices Piccolo's arm off, and Piccolo's like, good job, Gohan, and Gohan's like, thank you, Piccolo, and all of a sudden, Piccolo's arm's like, blast! He's like, dude, I just fucking told you. Just told you <laughs> yeah, you that the fight's not do, over. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. And so, which goes into Gohan meditates mm -hmm. for another six hours, and then they do a dual match between Piccolo and Gohan versus Tien Shin Han and Goku. Basically, Piccolo and Tien just sit there like, oh, their dicks are in their hands. All right, I guess we'll just watch. Where Gohan finally unlocks his true mystic form at the end of his training with Piccolo. Yeah. Like, he's not full mystic, but he's getting there. To the point where he's able to go up against Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. Which is... Fucking, fucking crazy. Well, obviously Goku is holding back his energy, and I feel like Gohan was holding back a little bit of his, too. Yeah. But Gohan uh, inevitably loses because he burns out all of his energy at the mm -hmm. very end. And Goku looks at him like, you're learning, son. I'm you're, proud of you. You're progressing. Yay! Yay! And so, which in the Universal Survival arc, Goku gives Gohan the leadership of Universe 7. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you look very closely, it doesn't work because everyone is doing their thing besides Tien, Krillin, Roshi, Piccolo, and Gohan. Yeah. Everyone else is like, fuck y'all, I'm gonna just blast shit myself. You're like, yep. god damn it, guys, come on. The whole plan was stick together, fuck anything up that comes near right, them. Right, and Gohan the team's like, gone. Yeah, Gohan is a tactician, and it's like, Goku's like, yes, yeah, son, I want you to be the tactician of the group. You're really good at these. And, like, you find out, like, Piccolo and Gohan have been working on, like, some dual tag team moves. But it means nothing because everyone else is fucking leaving. They're just wandering and, like, away. And you're Gohan's just kinda, like, like uh... you're kind of just, like, pissed off at Goku because Goku's like, yeah, you're going to be the leader of Team 7. And, like, he's just like, never mind, fuck you. I just, the, like, like, hits here. Like, yep. Jiren's here. Like, let's fight. I'm like, Goku's natural saying just, I want to fuck anything up with my fist that I can. And the second he sees all these people, is like, yep, I'm going over there. And Frieza doesn't take Gohan seriously because no, it's Frieza. No, Frieza doesn't give a and shit. And Vegeta's like, listen, you're the son of Kakarot. Fuck you. Bye. Bye. And the androids are like, yeah, peace. Peace. <laughs> uh, actually, I wanted to bring up at the end of the future Trunks saga, as Trunks is leaving to go to the universe that um, Zeno created... Gohan flies up and is waving goodbye to Trunks, and there's this small glimpse of Trunks seeing Gohan now as future Gohan. Yeah. And in the Trunks saga, I forgot about this, and I feel really bad, guys, but I have to bring this up, is that Trunks goes to Gohan for guidance and finds out that Gohan is the family man he always wanted to be. Yeah. Because like, when Trunks, when Gohan was telling Trunks about this, he's like, I always just wanted to be a scholar and have a family. And, like, this Gohan gets it. And Trunks is, like, in, like, loves that the Oh, yeah, he is Gohan. so excited that he's he got so his dream. He's so happy that his dream. master got his dream. Yeah. It wasn't his master, but his master nonetheless. Yeah. Somebody who definitely trained him and was pivotal in his life. Right. So now with that, with that in mind, we're going to talk about, like, what... We like what is a good progression. Like, what do you think about the progression of Go On? Because I know personally, I love this progression of Go On. Oh yeah. My 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 only complaint is the fact that like because of the fan out backlash, I I think that people literally are like. They, they made Gohan more bad, like, quote-unquote badass. And, like, I yeah. think Gohan needed that. I think Gohan's progression was natural enough to me. I think it was like, going very well, and I, I agree with you. The only, I think the only reason he reached full Mystic so fast, was able to go so far so fast, is because the fans thought Gohan was just nothing. Like, they were disappointed in him. Which is upsetting to me, because, like... I get that, like, you watch yeah. Shonen Battle Manga because you want to see cool fights, but, but I like, also like the character 
development and progression Gohan got. Yeah, I'd like to see some reality in it and see a, f a good fighter, a competent fighter, not want to be a fighter and, like, he wants to be a family man and a scholar. Because to me, I think Gohan... This is where we're going to go into our comparison with Goku and Gohan. Gohan is a well more shaped out character than Gohan is. Because Gohan is... Than Goku is. Because all Goku really has for him is... Fight strong people! Get stronger! Let's do it! Yeah. Gohan is like, I have a family I need to protect. I need to protect the Earth. And I want to do all of this. Mm -hmm. Also, if you compare Goku and Gohan... Gohan has potential to... Surpass. Fast Goku through leagues. Oh, yeah. Goku did not get reach Super Tan until he was 25. Yeah, Go right? Gohan's hitting it, like... Goku hit Super Saiyan at 12. Goku, Gohan was the first person to reach Super Saiyan 2. Yeah. Goku did not reach it until he was in the other world. Yeah. Then, if you look at the comparison between Goku and Gohan, Gohan was able to reach a mystic form that was able to surpass Super Saiyan 3. Right. Like, because of the fact Goku and Vegeta trained with Whis, they were able to progress themselves. But the thing you want to point out is that Gohan says he's following his own path that he doesn't want to use Super Saiyan. He wants to reach his own level of strength he, yeah. through his own moral, through, through his own power, which is his mystic energy. Exactly. Which, I, I want to see that. I love the mystic energy. It's a much more thought-progressive form like super saiyan is just basically a rage even super saiyan blue even though it's a calming is still just completely battle focused but gohan has always used his intellect when he's fighting right and i think that's what i like and this is why i like gohan a lot gohan is besides bulma and it's because they're intellectual people they're my two favorite characters yeah in the dragon ball universe they actually think about shit while most of our main characters in this TV show are like, there's something bad going on, let's go fight it. Fight! Kill! Kill! You killed my friend! Ah, uh, Super Saiyan! You killed my friend, I must power up! Right, and... So you're just, just like, I, I don't know, I love Gohan's progression more. It feels naturaler. Right, it feels a lot more natural. Like, I, even, like, some of my fr some of my friends I talked to about Dragon Ball Z just hanging out, they're like, Gohan's a bitch! I was like... What? Why is Gohan a bitch? Because he cares about his family? Like, that's fucked up. Like, Yeah, because he doesn't go full combat all the time and spends all his time fucking training. He's a bitch. Right. I'm and, sorry. Gohan has other things he'd like to do. Right. And, Fighting is not a priority right. for him. Right. And which, I love Gohan. Oh, yeah. And I will always love Gohan. The re There are two reasons why I'm still... I'm, I like the Universal Survival Arc. Because it gave Gohan a light, and it looks like Gohan is going to be the main character with Goku instead of Vegeta. Hopefully. And also, Goku gets a possible new form, and I'm just kind of like waiting. I'm like, yeah, do it. If Goku, I I would like to see Goku's new form, but I don't know where they're going to go with it. Because dude's seriously sitting there with God Chi inside right. of him, like. We'll have gonna... a, I guess we'll have a discussion about that. We'll, yeah. That'll be one of our future fandom episodes. We'll, and we'll work on that, yeah. So, I'm Kiani Banyas. I'm Max Gooley. Don't forget to like, share, and listen to our other videos down in the link below. Woo! Bye, guys!